Thank you, Home Theater in a Box, HTS 3100. Home Theater in a Box will have one AV receiver, five speakers, one subwoofer. Left, right, surround left, right, center, subwoofer, and this is the AV receiver. Now let's learn how to install HTS 3100. Installing Home Theater in a Box is very easy. Let's look at the connections. If you notice, the speaker terminals are all color coded. The speakers are also color coded. Okay. The wires supply is also color coded. Connecting the speakers is very easy. We have to match the color of the pin and color of the wire. The center speaker is green in color. So we'll connect the we'll take the green wire, connect uh, black to black and green to green. The other end of the cable we connect to the same black to black. green to green. Similarly, we have to match all the wire colors to the respective speakers. Let's do it. There are six wires including subwoofer. Red for right, white for left, green for center and so on. So now connect and match the colors of the speakers to the amplifier. There is a speaker setup diagram for your reference. Surround speakers can either be kept behind the listener or to the sides of the listener. Now we have finished uh, connecting the speakers. Now let's connect DVD player. Now uh, DVD player to amplifier will have to connect a digital audio connection. There are two types of digital audio connection. One is coaxial digital connection, one is optical digital connection. Digital audio connection will do either we can do optical digital connection, In this the signal goes through uh, light form, or uh, we can use coaxial digital cable. This is the same digital connection, but this is an electrical connection. This is all. So you can use one of this. Optical wire goes here. And yeah, this, that's it. Now we have completed audio connection using optical cable. Or, or we can use coaxial digital cable. This is a electrical connection. Now the coaxial dish cable goes here. The other end goes here. Now the audio connection is complete. Let's do the video connection between DVD player and the AV receiver. You need to use the AV cable. The AV cable will have a red white and yellow pin. You have to connect uh, yellow to yellow that is video and to the amplifier DVD in you can use video cable. So now we have completed video connection. This is an analog audio connection. This is not required as we have done digital audio connection. So there is no requirement of this. This shows optical connection between DVD player and the AV receiver. This one shows with the coaxial cable. Okay. This is the FM antenna. 
we connect FM like this and you can unwind this cable to get, to get better reception this is the AM antenna which will not be required there are several inputs wherein you can connect DVD VCR tel uh, satellite television or something else there is a connection for tape input and the CD input these inputs can also be used for uh, a remote interactive dock now we finished connecting DVD player to the receiver and speakers now we have to connect to the television to connect the TV you need a uh, AV cable again connect monitor oft of the AV receiver to the TV video input and from TV monitor output that is audio video output connect to video 1 now the connection is done let's set it up to tune the FM stations select tuner till you get FM on the display then press up button the tuner tunes to a uh, station then press memory and it gets stored in uh, channel 1 now I press the up again it finds the next channel and press memory again it gets stored in set number 2 so so on you complete till all the stations press setup for the configuration don't change the speaker setup these are factory set and good for the speakers and set the speaker distance measure the distance of the speaker from the listening position and feed it to the amp then using test tone set the levels of the speakers so that all speakers sound equal ideal setting would be front left right zero center three and surround around four each and subwoofer at two pressing a digital input you can either select coaxial, optical or optical 2. Depending on whatever you have connected, you select the respective input. The speakers come with a keyhole. So you can actually easily mount them on the wall. You have got a horizontal keyhole as well as vertical keyhole. So you can either place it this way or this way. Now um, this being a surround speaker, we are placing it this way. So just put the nail on the wall and insert the speakers. That's it. The speaker is wall mounted. On Q3100 speakers are also omni mount speaker clamp compatible. I've used the speaker clamp here. Um, we can adjust the speaker the way you want using this clamp and first of all 